welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Um, big thank you and welcome. Um, so, getting back on these two little kickers in my last video, I went ahead and finished the little Yamaha up. Uh, I had to fix the safety interlock on it. And then the tilt thing on there ended up being just this little plastic thing that's tied into the shift. Shift. Um, it locks it so that when you go in reverse it don't kick up on you and so forth. Well, I priced that little thing and it was $27 for this piece of broken plastic. $27. Why is plastic so expensive? I'm going to give you another example. Alright, so I looked at it in order to replace that little plastic. I would have to drop the lower unit, unhook the shift coupling and all, drive out a pin, take out the latching device, put the plastic, put it all back together. I estimated it would take me probably an hour and a half to two hours to get it done. And so I called the owner and said, do you want to spend this amount for that little piece of plastic? And he said, no. And I don't blame him for what it does. And because it's plastic, it's going to probably break again. Um, so for the little safety interlock on this little guy, all I did was epoxy, put a bunch of epoxy around this so it can't back out anymore. And now... You can pull it over in neutral, but when you put it in gear, you can't. That's all I did to that. So, um, I'm going to drain the gear oil, put new gear oil in it, and that's about all I'll do. Now, getting back on this 35 commercial. did not even see it. Maybe I was still... When I first started this thing, I was, I guess, pay attention to the discharge from the P-tube, but uh, a very observant subscriber put a comment down below on my last video and said, hey, did you see the water squirting out right around here in the middle of the head? And sure enough, I watched the video and there was water squirting out of here. So we had to pop its head off. And that's what I did. Yeah. I popped its head. I popped it like a teenage pimple. Look at that. You can see she's roached. And, uh, right in the area right right up in here I could actually see light coming through and right up in here um, in this area I could see light coming through and right there some holes and it's just roach so and I thought I had one but I don't so I had to order it but what else we got going with this guy Lower you down just a little bit. Lower. Um, put a little cloth right there. See this right here? Look at here. Make sure you're in there. Yeah. Yeah. So all this is going to have to be just cleaned up. Get it all clean. Yep. But boy, the cylinders look good on it. I'll have to clean everything up. Um, but yeah, the head gasket was shot in addition to the thermostat gasket. So, 
So I'm waiting on parts and I'm kind of deciding on which one I should bring in here in the meantime. Um, the head gasket has already shipped out so it ought to be here in a day or so. But it'll be that before I can get this one back together. But I can put the little Yamaha out and roll another one in here and that's what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. Well, give it just a little bit that way. I'm out here trolling, or gonna be trolling, for some silver salmon in my dinghy. out there once in a while but the wind's starting to pick up and I'm in a little bitty dinghy so I think I'm gonna go in closer I'm running my little Avenue 3.3 .3 horsepower pretty out here today. There's a lot of fish jumping, but I ain't seeing even the people on the bank. I ain't seeing a whole lot of fish being caught. You understand?
I told you I was gonna talk about little plastic pieces that cost way too much money. I'll show you. I'll show you. It is called a pressure release valve. There it is. It's a piece of plastic. Plastic. What do you think that costs? Yeah. For one, a few of the uh, websites I went to, it said unavailable. So I went to evanrude.com. That's what the original one that come out of there looked like. Yummy. There it is. That little piece of plastic. If you go to evanrude.com and look up any of the 40s through 60s of the 88s, 89s, that area in there, they all have that. EvanRudeUSA.com wants $62.90 something cents for that piece of plastic. Unacceptable. Save them pots. Okay. I said I was going to bring another one in. And I did. I had to zip it in here quick. Because for the last three days, we have had hurricane force winds accompanied with rain. It has been terribly nasty. Um, but I went out and got one and brought it in. It's a cutie. You want to see a little cutie? It's a cutie. Let's look. Is that a cutie or what? Yeah, it's a cutie. Now I can already see some issues just bringing it in here. Just bringing it in. Watch these motor mounts. All just shot. So we got motor mounts that's going to need doing. And that's without even taking the bonnet off of this. A little cute thing. You say, what size is it? Oh, look at that. It is a five and one half. Johnson. Cute. Pretty clean for that old. Pretty clean. Gosh, you can get to everything. So, we're going to do a fax check on it real quick. She had a little spray paint put on it from time to time. Got J6Js in it. Now, why were they finger loose? I ain't been in here before. Them spark plugs, at least that top one, was finger loose. You in there? You in there? You in there? That gap on this might be a little bit much for it. So I'm going to try one of my other Spockies. That's what I'm going to do. Get one of these. Because 
because I noticed at one point, see this is one of the adjustable kinds, I can adjust it, it's got the settings, and make it closer. And that is the top. Here's the bottom. And she's fired. I've noticed these points and condensers, they have a whole different type of spark when you look at it. Um, It's a thicker, fatter, yellower spark rather than a skinny long line. So I'm just curious too now, what do we got for compressionis on this guy? Let me check at the compression. Compressionis. Honestanis. I speak out of Spanish. I am on zero. I'm on another zero. Let's see what we get. What we get. What we get. What we get? What we get? Let's see what we get. We get about fifty. And we get about 52, 53. I'm going to check it again. That's pretty low. Not the best read. So I'm on zero again. Okay, we're a good spoon. And I get about 55, 54 right in there. Um, now this is a dry test. I haven't shot anything in the cylinders or anything. This is the top cylinder. We're on zero there. Here we got 77. So, not the best numbers in the world. That means I'm going to shoot the tri flow in the sparky hole. See the pistol. Get down. I didn't know. Before. All right. So all right. Let me see if wet if that number improves. That top number, seventy-seven, is fine for one of these old. Cross flow type things, but uh, fifty five ain't great. Okay, we're at the zero. Need what we get. About 50, 56, 
and maybe a little better than that, 55, 59, about 56, 58. All right, so I got her in the tank, and I'm going to just see what happens. I'll try and drill start it, I think. As you can see, nothing happened. Not even a fart. But I'm going to show you some other things. But before we do, it's name that tune. We got to name that tune. I got some lyrics. For your lorry loads, pumping. Petrol for your lorry loads pumping petrol name that tune. Now I'm gonna show you some other things I found interesting on this little cutie. Okay, we know we had low compression in that bottom cylinder. Watch this here though. So I think we got an issue there. But here's something else I found on this bottom cylinder. Look at that spark plug. And that's all it does. It won't tighten, it's stripped out. And I, I kind of felt something was funny when I took it out of here. So it's got a stripped out lower spark plug. Hole in the uh, in the old spark plug hole. So, what does it mean? What does it all mean? It means on this guy, it's call the owner and say, how much do you want to spend? For one, I don't think I have. an extra head for this thing. If I did, would it even run with that compression what it is? And with all the other stuff going on, the motor mount, and everything, okay, so Finished up the little Yamaha as far as the owner wanted me to take that little eight. I'm waiting on head gasket for the 55 commercial. The little cutie five and one half. I will call the owner and say, Ching, -ch -ch ching, how much do you want to spend? It needs motor mounts. It needs a new head or a Healy coil. Um, which I can do that. I have I have those, <laughs> um, but it's just kind of how much do you want to spend? And even if I put a helicoil in there and take care of the plug, um, is it going to run on that that kind of compression? Um, so, what do you think? 
kind of a situation. So I'll give it some thought, think about it, and then see where I'm going to go. And then he's got this same guy that brought this five and a half to me has a little, I think it was a six out there. So I'll probably bring that one in next. But the weather has just been frightful. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. And this is a good day for the last four days. Look at all the leaves in my yard. And yeah. It's just been nasty, rainy, windy, blowing. I can't get out for a boat ride. Catch me a cod. Fret's over there sulking. Uh, waiting on parts. So, hey, sometimes that's just the way it goes, you know. So, that's going to be a wrap on this one. Thank you for watching. That's one more hack from Kodiak. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.